Hey everybody, this video brings me and Mike back out to Jake's Flea Market because it is a Sunday, a Sunday at the beginning of December and surprisingly a pretty nice Sunday. The, the sun is out yeah, is. so we, we can feel the warmth. There's no wind today. So there's actually a, a decent amount of people out shopping and a decent amount of people out actually set up more people than I had anticipated. So this should be good. We're gonna find some good stuff today. We're gonna find some sharks and some monsters and some dinosaurs okay. for you. Look at, look at his shirt. What's it say? Ho Ho nice. Godzilla. I'm loving it. So we're going to find some Godzilla for you today. I'm, oh. I'm guaranteeing it. We're going to find some maybe Spice Girl, maybe Figment, but most likely some movies for me today. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm pumped. It's a, it's a beautiful December day. We're going to find some good stuff. Power positivity. These are interesting and also kind of weird. I've never heard of hangries before. Look at this. Poop slime, poop slime, poop slime, poop slime. These are, these are bizarre. That's the... Um, do they have the, oh the incredible dump look at that with this taco smell bag this being splatter man with his pito's poops all right and we've got um who is this Tur Tur titan's ghost so okay all right with his uh dioritos that is um that is different Interesting. yeah these are things i've never seen before i mean you, you, you've seen funko pops you've seen dorbs yep. have you seen i heard of them hangries you, you have i have did they make a godzilla one I don't know if they have. They might. <laughs> these are these are weird. I'm kind of tempted. They're five bucks a piece, but I mean, what what, what would I do with these? I, I should put in the. I should line them up in the bathroom. That would make so much sense. There you go. It's a thought. All right, here we go. Finding our first movies of the day, though I'm not really seeing anything I need, unfortunately. I mean, there's some good titles in here. It's just stuff I, I already have. So I think I'm gonna end up probably passing on all this. Here's some History Channel World War II documentaries, but yeah, I actually have every single one of those. Do not need those. Vietnam, some comedy classic Spider-Man. All right, well, we're we're finding movies. I'm gonna take it as a sign of things to come, but um, just no movies I need. This time of the year is kind of funny. During the summer and spring and even into the fall, we love being underneath the shade because it's so nice. We're out of the sun, but it's the exact opposite this time of year. We're freezing under here, and the, and the shade is not fun. We actually want to be out in the in the sun today, but there are some more movies over here, though I don't actually see, again, anything I need to pick up. I've looked through these movies about a thousand times before. It's all the same stuff. Mike, however, is over here digging through this bin because like two, three weeks ago, I, I found him some vintage Ninja Turtles. Turns out they were actually worth quite a bit of money. So um, you're, you're welcome, buddy, for that one. But now, well, now, we're, anyway. we're, now we're looking for some accessories because apparently if um, you have the accessories to the, uh, to the turtles, they're worth quite a bit. The accessories are actually worth more than the turtle, turtles themselves. Yeah, so, two hundred dollars <laughs> a piece for the accessories. So, yeah, you you dig. Good luck. Here's a whole bunch of Christmas stuff, including this amazing Mr. Potato Head keepsake Hallmark ornament. That's really cool. You're the you're the Hallmark ornament guy, right? Not, not 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 anymore. I got Godzilla. I got King Kong. I got. Godzilla. Didn't you used to collect like every what? one? No. No. Oh no. Just Star Wars. Oh, just the Star and Wars the ones. The Lionel trains. And the Lionel trains. Yes. And the the Jaws ones, I got Jaws, and, the, them, and the dinosaur ones, and the monster ones. <laughs> you, so you, you, didn't collect, you didn't collect them all. You just collected a lot of them. This one's pretty awesome. That's cool. I'm going to end up passing on that. But what I think I'm not going to pass on is this. It's not Russ. It's made by a company named Smith, but it's still a, a vintage troll doll stocking that is weird that is bizarre and it's only one dollar i'm picking this yeah, up that is good. that is too that is too cool you don't you don't pass on weird bizarre troll stuff i i love it and, and i'm buying this from the store not exactly the most uncommon thing i've ever seen but this is really really awesome it's a vintage walt disney world i would say ashtray but i don't know i think this is more of a candy dish than an ashtray some people do call these ashtrays i'm gonna go with candy dish though this is really awesome i do see these all the time i've come across these many many times i used to have one of these in my house for a while. This is pretty awesome. And it's only $1. Honestly, I would pick this up, but unfortunately it has a little nick in the glass there, which doesn't make it well perfect. So I think I'm just gonna pass on this. If it was more rare, it was more obscure, even with that nick, I would totally pick it up. But since these are, I don't wanna call them a dime a dozen, but still not uncommon with the nick, I'm gonna pass. So I passed on the ashtray slash candy dish because unfortunately I had a nick out of it, but this here is actually pretty minty and this I am gonna pick up. It's a vintage Walt Disney World tin tray. This is really, really awesome. Has a little bit of wear to it. These always do, they're pretty old, but um, yeah, I'm thinking for only $2, this I've definitely gotta pick up. They actually they actually make these again. They, they started remaking these. You can get these in the park now for like $25 or you can come out to the flea market and find one for only $2, a vintage one for only two bucks. This is awesome. So, all right, yeah, for $2, I'm picking this up. 
Well, it looks like I'll be texting Patricia because I did just come across this pretty awesome Flintstones Denny's plastic lunchbox. That is really weird. Why did Denny's put this out? I have no idea. So that's pretty awesome. It has its thermos inside and everything. They're asking $15 for this. I mean, this is pretty awesome. If it was cheaper, I'd pick it up just for me alone. This is really neat. But, uh, you know, Pat Patricia is the one who collects the, uh, the Flintstones. I'll be sending her a text if she, if she needs it. We'll come back for it. Well, looky who decided to show up. John is here and he's bringing the power of positivity so with him because we just found some um, CDs and some DVDs and some VHS tapes. And here's some Samurai Champulu. Am I saying that right? Volume one. Mm -hmm. I have never actually seen this show. I, I know of this show. They used to play it on Cartoon Network. So I am aware of it. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to say I only have this on UMD for some weird reason. I know, what a weird format to have this on. I think I have this on UMD, so I, I need to grab myself a little bit of an upgrade here. Brand new factory sealed. I believe it's only $1. So um, yeah, for a buck, all right, I'll, I'll pick up some some random anime that I'll, I'll eventually get okay, around to watching. Yep. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'll eventually get around to watching it. All right, power of positivity from, from, no from John. He's so, he's, so, he's so fluffy. I don't need more puzzles. I don't need more puzzles. I do not need more puzzles, even at only 25 cents a piece. Some vintage Disney. This is, I mean, it's a pretty cute puzzle. It's Mickey and Minnie and there's there's Pluto there. They're, they're by the fireside. It's only 25 cents. I'm really tempted to pick this up. I I see, I just, I see these puzzles. I, I, I think these puzzles are amazing. I don't collect them, but I love them. They're awesome. And apparently nobody else collects them either because they just, they just collect dust. Nobody buys these. They take up space. I need to just walk away from the puzzles. Here's a few more DVDs down here, though. I'm not really seeing anything I need. Law Abiding Citizen on Blu-ray, but already have that. They have some um, Blue Planet. I'm guessing, I mean, it's it's the sea. They've got, to have, they've got to have sharks. I have it. You already have it. Of course you already have it. So, all right. Well, I mean, there's not a lot of movies out here today, but at least we're finding some. Obviously, this wouldn't fit me. And honestly, I don't even know if this would fit my eight-year-old son, but I'm loving this vintage Batman raincoat. This thing is so incredibly cool. Actually, the more I look at this, maybe this will fit my son, possibly. But I mean, it's it's a vintage Batman raincoat. I wouldn't want this to go on him anyway. I want to put this like, I don't know, display it in a case or something. This thing is so incredibly amazing. I'm okay. I'm I'm loving this. I mean, I'm I'm probably gonna end up passing on it, but uh, I want it, and I want it in an adult size. Yeah. I want I want to wear that. Will it fit John? And perfect almost and kind of almost and kind of sexy <laughs> i hate when this happens i come across a whole bunch of awesome stuff but it's awesome stuff i already have there's a lot of good things here i mean the complete series of soap complete series of kung fu there's some partridge family abbott and costello the universe incredible hawk we got some 3d blu-rays here look at this ab fab set this is actually really awesome but I don't need it. I already have that. The Untouchables. I'm just, I'm seeing so much cool stuff. They got South Park. They have Friends, Tales from the Crypt, all kinds of interesting things in here, like Mr. Bean, which is pretty cool. The Haunted Mansion, other interesting, weird, bizarre things like this. The Haunted Mansion story. This is a bootleg, but honestly, I don't even know what this is. Two DVD set, but unfortunately it's missing disc one. Again, I don't know what this is. It is a bootleg, but I would have picked this up. I, I would have bought this in a heartbeat just because I'm very curious. But again, it's missing disc one, so I'm going to have to pass on that. So yeah, I'm seeing lots of cool things. It's just cool things I already have. Although Mike found something he needs. Well, you found it. The, I, I found something. <laughs> Copyright strike, hold on. I found, I found something that Mike needs. It is the Jurassic Park Adventure Pack, the franchise right, collection. Right, yep. How much you pay for that? Two. Two bucks? Awesome, good find. So all right, you're picking that up. And I'm unfortunately passing on everything. That hurts. There's some, there's some really cool stuff in here. Again, I just, I just don't need it. So apparently, the back of the flea market's where all the good stuff is. Because once again, we're finding some pretty good DVDs and Blu-rays. It's just, once again, nothing I need. I know. Story of my life. They got seasons of Mad Men and Nurse Jackie, The King's Speech on Blu-ray. That's pretty cool. It's a great movie. But I, I already, I already have it. Here's Crash on Blu-ray. But again, I. I already have that as well. So like I said, good, ah, whoa. And just like that, we're, we're in an M. Night Shyamalan movie. It's, it's, it's the, it's the happening. Did you see the signs? It's, signs. it's the hap, it's the happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away before we're eaten, eaten by trees. All right, well, I have some good news, some bad news, and then some more good news. So the uh, the first good news is we're finding a whole tub here full of movies, DVDs, a couple Blu-rays as well. I wanna say maybe we've actually already looked through these before. I, I could be wrong about that. I'm not entirely sure, but still. Just a giant bin here full of nothing but movies. That's awesome. Good news. Bad news is for me and for 
For Mike here is that John decided, I'm gonna pick everything up because it's $10 for the whole entire bin. Smart move on your part. That's gonna be some good store credit over at the Video Game Movie Dome. So, all right, I don't, I don't blame you. I kind of should have jumped at that opportunity my, myself. That was, that was stupid of me not to say yes and just immediately hand him $10 like you did. So, all right, way to go. But, um, so yeah, the other good news is you're, you're getting a bunch of store credits. <laughs> There's anything good in there. I call dibs. Okay. Wait a minute, hold on. There actually is some good news for Mike and I. So um, in that bin was this, The Lion King on VHS, which I actually need. I'm, I'm looking for a Laserdisc copy of this, but I mean, a, a VHS copy is good enough for now. This is the unedited version. The, the DVD and the Blu-ray versions, they're actually slightly edited. So I, I've been wanting to get a copy of this. It's actually in pretty good condition. Actually, this is in like a really super crazy minty condition. So I'm getting this for, for free, thanks. And then Mike's getting Volcano, oh, Volcano New own. York. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Disaster, to, disaster Zone, colon, Volcano in New York. That is a weird movie, but it's right up your alley. So you're getting that for free. So, all right, you know what? Thanks. Thanks, John. Thank you. Here's a ton of CDs. I'm actually seeing some pretty good music in here. Things like Me First and the Gimme Gimmies. That's awesome. I already have that. There was some Pennywise in here. A Life Once Lost. I mean, I'm getting, I'm finding some pretty awesome stuff. And I'm actually picking some of these up. We've got um, Music on the Brain Volume 2 Smart Punk, a, a compilation of a bunch of punk bands. The F-Ups, I've never heard of them, but I mean, clearly it's a punk band. So, all right, I'm going to check them out. The Matches, they're an Epitaph band that I've heard of, but I don't really recognize the music of, but whatever. Picking that up as well. Some Gutter Mouth, that's awesome. Fantastic band. And The Briggs, another fantastic punk band as well. All for a dollar a piece. So I'm picking up some, some punk rock music here, and it was worth the Frostbite, because I literally... Cannot feel my hands now, but you know what? Digging through the CDs to find some good punk music for a dollar a piece. Worth the loss of my fingers. Okay, so we're, uh, we're almost done here at Jake's. The, the cold is definitely starting to set in. I honestly can no longer feel my, my toes or my, my fingers or most of my face at this point. I don't, I, I'm honestly surprised I can even talk, which I kind of barely even can. Anyway, we're finding a couple more DVDs here. I'm picking up a couple things. I'm grabbing this uh, Disney's Very Merry Christmas sing-along songs for the store. I actually already have that in my own collection, but that's a cool find for a dollar. And then this, I don't know, Mike, Mike kind of talked me into this. He's like, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a documentary. He's, he's right. This is pretty neat. It's one for the books, baseball records, and the stories behind them by the uh, National Baseball Hall of Fame. So yeah, for a buck, why not? That's pretty cool. And then John, John Jim Jims. I'm so cold. John is picking up the Tick, the, the entire tick. series on DVD for only one dollar. Good find, awesome, Ooh. awesome pickup. Spoon, Ooh. awesome pickup. Anyway, let's continue on before I literally just become a, a popsicle. There's a couple more CDs down here and I'm seeing things like this, Side One Dummy. Anytime I see Side One Dummy, I'm always intrigued. This is the Dan Band, which I gotta be honest, I wasn't familiar with, but then you clued me into who they were. This is that band you've seen in old movies, school, old school, and a couple other movies. I think, I think there's like what was it? there's like one or two movies this band is in. And what they do is they take a bunch of cover songs and just throw the F-bomb into them yep. continuously where the F-bomb does not need to be thrown in. I don't know. I'm I'm assuming they do that on the, the record I'm too. I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, that's what, that's what they're known for doing in the movies. So I'm intrigued. I did not know that that was an actual, real, legit band. I just thought they were something that was thrown into movies for... For the funniness of it so okay i'm i'm intrigued for a dollar I'm, I'm picking this up if you're, if you're familiar with the dan band leave a comment down below My, should i be expecting a whole boatload of f-bombs I'm, I'm hoping so all right guys so i'm thinking that is going to do it for jake's thank goodness because yes i literally cannot feel my toes they sting at this point and my fingers are also quite numb my extremities are officially freezing when we got here i thought okay it's not it's not that bad out and honestly the sun feels really good and again there's there's no wind today which is really nice but it's still pretty darn cold and it's starting to catch up to us now so we are we are done i'm happy though i got I, mean, I honestly have a cart that's like halfway filled with stuff i did not expect that today at all i thought okay like first week in, in december first weekend of december there's gonna be nobody out here it's gonna be a ghost town but there's surprisingly a decent amount of people and i found some awesome stuff so we all we all have stuff you got you got some stuff right i got yeah i got you got you got the stuff. tick you got that yeah, giant bin we, we have to go bin. we have to go back for the bin you and there. you got some cool stuff as well we, we all picked up awesome stuff today so all in all it was a good cold but good day. i shouldn't be complaining because we're going to be out here like next weekend probably yep. and it's going to be four degrees Negative it's going to be 17. it's going to be windy it's going to be freezing and i'm going to be twice or if not 20 times more cold than than i am now so 
We should just shut up and stop complaining. That's what I should do. Anyway, we're good. We're, we're done. We're going, we're going home. We're out of here. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for fun daily adventures. And check down below for a link to... Some of the bowls. And check down below for a link to... Trucks and Monsters fan on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Stay warm, because we're not. All right. Bye. <laughs>